What is up everyone and welcome back to more Dragon Quest, I nearly said Builders. And let me just say, oh, I called it Dragon Quest 6 because I played the last episode at stupid o'clock in the morning and I was tired and that's a terrible excuse. It's 11, okay, not 6, it's 11. I am aware of this. So, in the last episode, we climbed all the way up to the top. Sandy, of course, was our very beautiful helper. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Dogs, just the best, right? Gotta love dogs. So I spoke to these people. So do I get a prize now? Can I get a prize? When the lightning struck the tour, I must confess that I feared for your safety, but it seems that you escaped unharmed. Truly, we must give thanks to the spirit of the land who watches over us all. No, it's my hand, not the land, my hand, is what saved us all. Yay, you're back, you're back. Your mum said to tell you she's gone home to make your tea. Thanks, mum. I want to talk to this little guy. Ah, what's happening? Jump! That lightning was so scary. The sky flashed and there was this big, big boom. Yay, these are all my friends. We're back safe and sound, Grandad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> Susie explains what happened on top of the tour. Well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? It was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon and the sunlight playing on the water and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. You're still young. And the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Come on, you. Home time. <laughs> it's still gonna take me a little while to get used to the fact that it's a silent protagonist, but people were saying that you can actually swap him out at some point, so... I mean, I, I don't know about doing that in, like, later parts of the game, because I don't know who I'm gonna want, I don't know who I'm gonna come across. But yeah, it's very strange. I did read up about it, though. Awarded for ascending to the top of Cobblestone Tour and completing the ceremony... Oh, I'm officially an adult! I read up about it, and the developer basically said that it would take too long to... They'd have to, like, rewrite the entire story if they wanted the West to have him talking. So the ceremony's all done. Congratulations. Now don't tell me you've forgotten where you live. Just follow the paving stones. You'll soon find your way back. You must be tired to be forgetting that. The paving stones. I'm guessing it's those. But I want to see what's up here, though. Am I allowed? That's the thing. When you play a new game, you just want to search everything. This music just reminds me of Dragon Quest Builders and the hours and hours I put into that game. When Dragon Quest Builders 2 gets a little bit closer, I will be covering Dragon Quest Builders again. I feel like I'm not really supposed to be up here. Let's 
my map. So I was actually just pressing buttons there because I wanted to see if it was possible. Can I jump off this? Woo! I can. Uh, this doesn't seem right. Haha! Uh -huh. No such thing as fall damage in this game. Okay, uh, this is locked apparently. It's got a big red, big red no-no on the map. It's locked tight, all right. It didn't come up and say you needed X key or anything like that. I guess I'm gonna have all the time in the world really to explore. That is a muscly horse, goodness me. Right, well now that I've actually fallen off, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going now. Aw, those kittywinks are playing. Can I just say though, a massive thank you for all the support on episode one of this game. I wasn't actually sure if you if you guys were interested in this game. Thanks for clobbering those stupid monsters. When I grow up, I'm gonna be big and tough, just like you. You did well, both of you. You're not children anymore, you're grown-ups. But I don't want to be a grown-up, I want to stay a kid. Ooh, I can go in this one. So there's some bread on the table. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's nothing special in here. Oh, hello. You're my hero, Susie! You saved my little boy. I'm so glad you and Gemma go back safely. Oh, I'm sorry, I just totally knocked over her logs. I think they were logs. Sandy! Whiff, whiff! Where are you going, Sandy? I'm guessing you're Gemma's dog. You're officially Susie's dog now. Can we just, like, call it now that Sandy is the best character in this game? Oh. Here's my little soldier! Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up! I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. <coughs> you would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Here, this belongs to you. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... well... he said you're... You're adopted. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary. I kinda liked the whole adopted thing that I was going with, but okay. What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital <coughs> up there in Heliodor and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Crikey. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> The reincarnation of the luminary. So I don't know, and I'm gonna ask this very carefully because I don't want spoilers or anything like that. Too bad. If I had played the other Dragon Quest games, would I understand what the reincarnation of the luminary is? And if so, can someone explain it to me without it being too spoilery? Susie tries his hardest to sleep. Susie's a boy by the way. <laughs> Don't ask. Watch the last episode to understand that mistake. But he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually. I fell asleep. Um, so obviously some th I'm a very special boy. Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna tell me, Mom? Having trouble sleeping, are we? Well, it's no surprise after all the excitement today and your big news. Whenever I have trouble nodding off, I like to go for a little walk. The night air always does me a power of good. But that's you. Are you telling me that I should go for a walk? Uh, I want to see what's in here first. I live in a house, a very nice house in the country. If these are the stairs, how do I get anything up here? There better not be a bed up here. Okay, I was gonna say. If there was a bed up here, how did it get up here? So we got 10 gold coins. Smash! Oh, okay, nothing there. <gasps> well, I'm that used to playing Dark Souls that I thought I was just about to get some fall damage and I freaked out a little bit. Okay, I'm off for a midnight s- Oh, is that chickens? Hey guys, can I pick him up? Can I pick him up? No. I grew up on a farm. And I get ridiculously excited whenever I see chickens because it reminds me of good times. And I was playing Uncharted and uh, they showcased chickens there too. And it was exciting to me. I get excited by chickens. Oh, it's locked. It is locked tight. Can I get in a different way? No. Uh, there's something pink on the map down here. I've just spotted it. Should we go see what it is? It's down this way. Oh, it's Gemma. Hey, girl. What are you doing up? A curious power emanates from the root wrapped around the tree. Okay, but I wanted to talk to Gemma. <laughs> oh, can't sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> <laughs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. Oh. How can you be the luminary too? I I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand, really I do. 
Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Oh, Gemma. Goodbye, old friend. No. <gasps> Oh, she loves him. Aww. Then morning comes. I love Gemma. Gemma is adorable. <laughs> well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. Is Gemma coming with me? And why is she not sad? She's like, my little boy is all grown up and he's leaving home and she's happy for me to go? Well, I suppose I am an adult after all. Okay, so we've got something pink here. I heard all about it from your mother. She said this is an important journey you have to make and you're just a youngster. And you just... what? Okay, so... Before you head off, make sure you visit the shop. You know where it is, of course. Down this slope and across the river. Down this slope and across the river? Is it this one? Uh, so what's the purple thing on the map then? Is this the shop? Oh, you look like my mother. <laughs> so you're leaving good old cobblestone, are you? Well, make sure you've got all the essentials. So I have 172 G. I feel like I should come up with my own word as to what G means. G, 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 baby. Um, a sturdy little stick. Do I, oh, wait, that puts my attack down. Weird. I've already got one of these. I don't have a bandana. I've got three of these. They're super cheap. Oh, maybe we'll get... Let's get five of these, because that's so cheap. Who's going to carry it? I'm going to carry it. Okay, so we have to think about that too. It's not just a case of buying as much as you want. You have to make sure you can actually carry it, which makes sense. A lot of games don't do that. Cure is a single ally of poison. Let's get a bunch of these. Do, 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 do. Let's get five of these. Can I fit it in my bag? Yes. Um, I'm gonna get this, actually. And I'm gonna... Yes. Alright, I'm pretty broke, so let's just get another one of these. Uh, nope, I'm good. Thank you very much, young lady. So before I go anywhere, I just want to see what the... The purple is on the map. I think I can talk to someone actually in this building up here. Do, do. Quest? Uh oh. Deary, deary me, what am I gonna do? It's young Susie. That's right! Young Susie, and you remember. You came along at just the right time. I've got a favor to ask. 
The other day, I was playing with my lad, you know, messing around as you do. Well, anyway, he got this flurry feather that he loves, and while fool that I am, I managed to let it blow away. Luckily, the wind only blew it as far as the roof of your shed. I'd go and get it myself, but I'm not too good with heights. I know you're a brave young fellow, so I was wondering if you'd mind clambering up there and getting it back for me. Uh, okay. The stuff that always being kind to others. There's no time to lose, my son's desperate. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, so I live... Now I have to remember where I live. Right, this one's mine. Okay. So I need to somehow... Clamber onto my shed. Aha! I wonder. Maybe, I mean, I've got a ladder. Oh, wait, I see it, I see it, I see it. It's this one. I think this is it. Give it. Yes! Alright, so I actually thought I had to go onto that shed, but never mind. 50 gold coins. Hey, there's something on that shed too. I wonder if I could get up there. It looks like you've got the feather. Let's give it to him. What do I get? Sleeping hibiscus. If you ever want to do someone a good turn, look for a purple speech bubble. Listen to what they have to say and see if you can do anything to help. Ah, okay, so I don't always have to do them straight away, which is fine. You know what I loved about this today? Obviously, I only played like 40 minutes. Oh, that's awesome! Um, but it gave me like a rundown of what I had just done previously at the start. And that was super cool, actually. I don't, I don't remember any game doing that that I'm aware of. So if you put the game down for a little bit and you forget, then the game will give you like a nice little reminder. And that's cool. Alright, so let's make our way. I'm sure there's a lot more that I could explore around here, but I will be playing a lot of this game off screen. And I just kind of want to focus on the story and maybe some side quests. Oh, who's this? So you're leaving us for a bit. Well, they're all up the north entrance. Okay, so this is the south. You're not gonna let me pass? Okay, look at the size of that guy. I need him to come with me. He could do some serious damage He had biceps of steel that's for sure <laughs> So this looks like the north entrance up I'm guessing that's a uh, shield. Is it a shield place maybe? Oh, no, no, it's Let me just see what this is. I think this is for shields. Oh! Or not. Okay, so I can save. Learn how much experience each party member needs to reach the next level. Bring fallen party members back to life. Cure any poison party. Okay, that's fine. It's very interesting, actually, that they use, like, churches and religion and things like that. Hey! I saw you down the other side. Keep your mind on the job no matter how fierce the fighting gets. Oh, okay. Get out there and pep yourself silly. Okay, mom. I'm off to be a Pokemon trainer. Master. Wrong game. My little soldier is really leaving. You might not be back for a while. Hope you've said all your goodbyes.
One day you're just a little boy, the next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in... <laughs> I mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. See, I thought that he was the child in the beginning. So, it's nice that that confirms that. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. The legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalkney, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, <laughs> won't you, eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, that might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Or they might just destroy it. You are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. Oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. Now, the fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. I get a horse? May this magnificent steed, the pride of Cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And Come back safe. Goodbye. Where's Gemma? Wait. There she is. Here. Take this with you. I... I made it for you. Keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. Gemma and Sandy to come with us. Aww. That's sad. Alright, so I finally... Oh, need a horse? Nay, bother. I finally get to see, like, the, the open map, I guess. Horses are incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground in very little time, but you'll sometimes have to enter areas that can only be explored on foot. Don't despair though, a ring on one of the many summoning bells dotted around will soon bring you faithful. Ah, okay. A ring on the bell. Hello. The mayor asked me to teach you a thing or two about horses. Now you see this bell, yep. Just press square to take a look at your map. Pressing X once, you've got your map. Okay. 
Right, so the the bell gets my horse back. That's fine. Do I still get battles on my horse? Most places don't do that. Most games, sorry, don't do that. <gasps> oh, there's little slimes chilling out around here. Okay, so this is my little map in the corner. Um, can I fight while I'm... Oh, you can! Okay. Well, I'm fighting by myself now. Oh, they're not that strong. It's really weird that I'm fighting by myself, though. I want Gemma! Okay, so I stay on my horse. Um, let's go for... Hasn't learned any non-battle. Oh. So I have that equipped. Oh, I can have a shield. Okay. That's good as well. That puts that up. I got any rings. I've got Jamma's charm, which puts my defense up. An auto equip, offensive. I don't really want auto though. And I can't. My blooming webcam's in the way. So that's my attributes. Oh, there's a slime coming. Three. Uh, let's go ahead and change our tactics. Don't fret about MP. Let's fight wisely. So I definitely think that after I record this episode, I'm going to order the slime from the Square Enix store. I'll need to ask DJ though, because I don't know if he maybe got it for my birthday, because my birthday's coming up and he said he already had something for me, so I don't know if it's going to be anything Dragon Quest related. Um. I'm not sure... Wait, can I talk to this bird? What is this bird doing? Oh, he's... He's gone! Where did he go? That's weird. I missed the bird! Uh, no, 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 that's not what I want. Okay, so I'm out of MP now. Yay! So I am level 4. Not bad. Can I? I don't know what is the correct way to go. I wouldn't mind, uh... Who's this here? The monster is up that way, I'll make mincemeat of you. You need to head north. Okay. Oh no you don't, slime ball! I wonder, can I go this way or are they just not gonna let me go this way? They'd be wanting to go north. Okay, that's fine. Fine, I will go north. I just wanted to look around. I really want to know what that bird was, too. So I got a funny feeling I'm probably gonna have to dismount very soon. Oh, maybe not. <gasps> Is that the bird? Look, he's there! Ah! I can fight the bird. Okay. So my MP comes back after every fight. Ah, that's good. I've played a lot of Final Fantasy games where you have to like touch a save and things like that. Come here! Come here! Bah. A group of Drakis appeared. A 
I feel like this frizz move is so overpowered. Alright, Pony, let's go. Okay, so we've got another brand new area that we can have a little look around. Uh-oh, what are these guys? Are they strong? Guess we'll find out. <laughs> That's adorable! Bye, slime. Ah, oh, I got stabbed. That was adorable. I want to ask, will I ever be able to have my name changed? Because, I mean, I'm not so sure I like it now. As I say, I thought it was making a save slot. I didn't realize that that was me naming the actual character. Oh my gosh, they're just, they're adorable. Oh! Okay, bunny corn is kind of strong. Not really. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I would quite like to change the name of my character. Just weird having it called Susie and Susie's a boy. Oh, what? Oh, what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith! That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I like this dude. All right, so... As soon as I come in here, I'm pretty much safe. We need a name for the pony, by the way. We need a name for the pony. Has he got anything else here? Like maybe you can buy some things if I go inside? Everyone's houses are so nice. Seriously, so nice. I can't take his whiskey or whatever that might be. Cheeky wee cider, you know. So let's settle in for the night. This is cool. I can't read that again. So rest, ask statue for help. Oh, okay, that's cool. Let's go ahead and rest. Uh, until dawn. Alright, perfect. So hopefully, um, as I say, it seems to be auto-saving. As far as I'm aware, anyway. Um, let me turn to the title screen. 
Okay, that's fine. Unfortunately, everyone, that is all I got time for in this episode. I want to try and make these episodes quite long, because obviously it is an RPG and you can't just play these for like 20 minutes or whatever. You got to play these for a long period of time. And I'm happy about that, because I am really enjoying this game so far and I'm really excited to see where it goes and I'm missing Sandy and Gemma, but it's going to be okay, I'm sure. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!